Hi, so in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how I created a reward system, a daily or hourly reward system, which allows your player to collect a reward and then a timer starts, which they can come back and collect it again, maybe a couple hours later or the next day. And this is done entirely through using a server time or internet time. So if they modify the time on their phone, uh, that won't be a way to cheat or anything like that. Um, secondly, we're also going to use that same sort of practice to create a event system, which allows you to create like a daily tournament or something like that. Some sort of event that starts at a certain particular time and then is available for maybe two or three hours and then it ends and then uh, players can now come back to that event the next day at the same exact time. So if this is something that interests you, stick around because we're going to get this done in this video. Now we're going to get started by creating the reward system first. Now I've already created this. In fact, I've turned it into an asset and no, I'm not going to ask you to purchase the asset. In fact, in this video, uh, for celebrating the 700 plus subscribers, I'm going to be giving the vulture code away in this video so that you can actually download the asset completely free. Apart from that, um, by watching this video and see how I've created it, you can possibly create your own. For all of this to work properly, we must first find a way for our script to communicate with the time over the internet or server. So if you own a website or access to some sort of server, you would need to create a PHP file like this. Just open up WordPad, type this code in, and simply go to save as, and save this as a PHP file. So you would check right here and just go to all files. And when you save it, just you know give it a name, perhaps get date dot php and save that then you would need to upload this file on a server where you can access it for example and this is what it gives me when i go to the url for my php file i'm going to leave my url in the description below in case you want to skip this part and just use my php file instead Keep in mind though, that because it's mine, it's not very reliable for you in case, you know, maybe my site goes down or something happens to my file and then um, there goes your fans or um, your, your uh, game users might be uh, very disappointed in the overall service of your game. So keep that in mind as just a disclaimer. Just a disclaimer, you can feel free to use mine, but uh, at some point I would recommend that you download um, you upload your own, create your own, you just got to create it, upload it to a server or the back end of a website somewhere you, where you can just get to it. You should also note that in the links below that I've sent you, the guide with the scripts, it does use the word split in the PHP there. But remember, um, I did explain here that we're using the explode. So you can see that in my um PHP script that I just showed you at the beginning there it had explode and not split split is something that has been uh, depreciated after I've done that I start off by simply making a time management code and I've put I've created a prefab and I've just put it in the scene this will take care of communicating with that PHP file to the internet and everything else does not have to be um, they will have to be synced. So this is basically an independent time manager that just brings that data into your game and then we'll code the reward system separately and the event system which we're going to look at also separately. So these are three separate um, prefabs. This one is completely independent but then these two relies on the information that's collected from this one. So let's look at the codes actually. So for the time management script, you've seen that I actually made this back in 2017. But for the time management script, it's going to target the PHP URL. Um, it creates a single thing of itself, a single instance of itself, so that all the other scripts will be able to tap into that instance and get the information they need. 
it will go to and connect. If it does connect, it will log, got PHP, got the PHP information. After that, what you should know is that the formatting of the PHP file, this is what the text, this is what we got back. We got back the date and then the time. So we're cutting that file. We're splitting it in two at the forward slash. You can see here that after the forward slash, we have the time, before it, we have the date. And so we're taking the first element, put it in current date, and the second element, we call it current time. So we're always getting that current time. So I just wanna show you how some of this works. I'm not gonna go through all of it. In the description, you find a link to this full um, time management script. After we cut it, then we're going to cut the current date by the little slash, the little dashes between them. So we get just the, um, just the month, um, just the date, and just the year as three separate um, in, individual um, variables. You can see we have this parson right here. And that's how this works. So don't worry too much about how it is. The full script in the description below. After that, we created the reward system, which simply uses that information from that time management system to have all of this working properly. Now there is a claim reward, and this is something important that you should know, is that you can put your code here of what to what should happen when the user choose to claim their reward and X will represent that reward. Now make sure that you understand this now. So let's go ahead and look at what we're talking about. So this the time management script you can see stands alone. Just have it in your scene. It's good. So I brought in the reward, um, the daily reward system here. Now I'll click on it so you can see it. Basically set right now as example to reset every five minutes. If I click and claim, now after five minutes, it will reset again. Well, let's look at it while the, while the clock is ticking. Let's look at it. Um, rewards to earn. This is where you can define how much reward you want them to earn. So when they click on this, it will fire off that function here and X will represent that 500 that you saw written. Um, next, you simply have a label. Label is just that message that goes in front. You can choose to use this or not. And then we have the progress bar, which is just an image that is um, using a radial 360 circular and the fill like this. So what it really is, it's just two image on top of each other <laughs> with a text and just something in the in the the front like that so that's really all it is for your, feel free to use your own image and design your own little um, reward UI and then there's an actual button that overlaps everything right now so if you click over here it's a button click over here it's a button it's all just one button that will trigger that um, reward and when that reward is triggered a time reset so even if I play now remember the time I was right here when it updates, it checks the time from the server and then accurately puts us back at where we were or where we should um, should be based on the time that has already passed. All right, so that's all for the reward system. Let's look at the daily event. Also, uh, just to note, see how I'm having it reset every minute. You can have it reset every 24 hours and then it becomes a daily thing or you can put a one, have it reset every one hour. So that's how that works. I'll remove that and then I'll bring the daily reward, the daily event system and put it in the canvas. These are UIs, so it is important that you remember they need to go into a canvas. So the way this now works is very simple. It's like a event that can start at a certain time. So for me, <coughs> the time right now is 10.30 p.m. So in the military time, I believe that's... In military time, I believe that's 22. So if I tell this to start at 
22, um, 37, and ends at 23. That means that 23, eh, you know, 23. That means that in a few minutes from now, in about two minutes, this should start. And you see, it says in a minute and 30 seconds, it should start. After that, it will go on until um, 11 o'clock because it's 10 o'clock right now for me. Um, let me show you. See, 10 o'clock right down here. And then it's 10, it's really 10 30, uh, 5. You see right here, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 35, boom, 36. So it's accurately counting down until this button becomes um, active once the timer is true. So if we put the timer here to 1036 because that's the current time and I hit play, now we'll notice that that time is available which means the button is now accessible. And you can start, you know, whatever event it is, this button will become accessible until now it turns time remaining to show you how much time is left before the button is disabled again. So we're at the end of the video and I just want to make sure I say a very much of uh, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, we've hit that 700 subscriber mark, which is a milestone. <laughs> the next one's going to be 1K. But for a um, hitting that milestone, I just want to give something back to this awesome community. And here I'm giving away three of my most um, impressive, uh, I would say my most precious assets that are on the store. Uh, at the top is the daily reward system, which is what we've gone over in this video. So in case uh, you just don't want to make it, feel free to use this voucher co code and just grab yourself that package without uh, without paying for it. And then we have the pull release force, which is kind of like a golfing game where you would pull pull on the ball and you see like this energy meter. And when you release it, it goes in direction. Um, and then we have the easy draw, which allows you to easily um, use this asset to bring the drawing mechanic into your into your game and you can draw on the screen with your finger or um, turn those drawings into like uh, physics where you know a ball falls and rolls on the drawing so these are uh, really uh, three of my most precious assets I want you guys to have them uh, just for tuning in just for being awesome and uh, we're actually at the end of the video so again thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.